Hi everybody, welcome to Crochet at the Lantern this week and we will learn how to do a corner to corner stitch. So this is a really easy stitch once you master it and you can keep going for as long as you want to make your project as big as you want. So it can become quite addictive. So I hope that you enjoy it and I do hope you become addicted to the corner to corner stitch as I did in the beginning of my crochet journey and made many, many enjoyable projects with it. So pause, rewind as often as you like um, because that's the beauty of our digital teaching, I suppose, for this time. And next week, we will again discover a new stitch for our crochet library. Till then, enjoy your crochet. Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to do a corner to corner. Um, just uses the treble stitch and it's worked in blocks, literally from one corner, which will start here. And you'll keep going and you'll finish in another corner so you're working just in blocks each time till you create your desired length so we'll get started there in a minute okay and you'll be familiar with the treble stitch so this is just a bigger version um, of a project okay so you just keep going and going and going as large as you want um, okay so that's roughly I'm halfway through a blanket here so it's going to be quite a big blanket so it's a very quick stitch to work up also so to get started you will need your hook I'm using a four millimeter hook and I'm using a double knit um, wool and to get started for your corner to corner it's six chain um, that's all you're going to be using to get yourself started. So chain up six, one, two, three. I'll just bring the thing closer for you. Three, four, five, six. There you go. And into the fourth chain from the hook, you're going to put a treble crochet. So count your fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Okay. And you will put a treble crochet in there. So a treble crochet, another treble crochet, and one more. Okay, and that's your first block made then. So you can see it coming together pretty quickly, okay? And lots of people really get addicted to this stitch when they, they start it and they can't help themselves but keep going. So that's your first block in your corner to corner made and if I bring over the one that I have been working on here this is where we started so that's that block here okay and your tail will be your guide now working forward and all you're going to do then to start building the blocks and just think of it um, that way I think it's kind of easy that it's just building blocks each row until it increases so to get started you've made our first block you're going to use your tail excuse me as your guide you're going to turn your work okay and your tail will always be your guide for you when you're building your blocks now we're going to build the next block I like to call them blocks um, other people just call them little squares okay so it's entirely up to yourself so we chain up six again one two three four five six and it looks like this okay and now you're going to work into the fourth chain again so for each time that we're going to be building blocks, um, we'd say starting off our new rows, you will be chaining up six. That's all you'll have to remember for that. And you'll be working into the fourth chain from the hook with your treble crochet. Count back your chains if you're not familiar, if you're not sure where it is. One, two, three, four. In you go there. Okay, with your treble crochet, you need two more treble crochet into the next one we're making another block here now and then into the last one also so we've made another block so if I hold out that work there now you can see what it looks like so our tail will always be your guide okay if I hold it down flat we've just made another block okay of treble crochets after we chained up six and worked back into them and now the only thing you'll need to remember are 
moving forward for your corner to corner is to join your blocks each time and to join your block as I say let your tail be your guide okay you've made the next block you've made your next block and now you need to join it so if the tail turns over you know to turn it back because that's going to be your guide and you'll be working into this space in the previous block so if I hold it out okay that's the tail as my guide for the edge of my work. And you're going to secure the blocks with a slip stitch. So it'll look like this. Um, it might look a little pecu peculiar to you now, but keep going with it um, because this is what it's going to start looking like as you're joining the blocks, okay? So then we will finish with making three chain, okay? So if you follow this tutorial along, pause and rewind step by step to make it easier for yourself and just keep practicing. It gets easier with practice and as I say, can become quite addictive. So now into this space, okay, there's our tail. That's our guide for our edge of our work. We've joined the block in with the slip stitch. We've chained up three and now we need to put three more treble crochets. So in effect, you will have four treble crochets in your block. The first three chain act as a treble, okay? And in we go. So I'm gonna turn it so you can see what it looks like. That's the edge of your work every time. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And again, if you remember what I said, your tail is going to be your guide, so you need to turn your work. We've made three blocks now. So you're going to have to turn your work, okay? When you're finished again and here we are again if I put it down we've made three blocks we've turned our work use the tail as your guide to make it easy for you okay and we're going to chain up six now so you'll only ever chain up six now at the edge of the work every time and if you're not sure where the edge is just put it down flat in front of you so for example now if if you're left-handed obviously it will be um, look different for you but if you're right-handed, your tail and your edge of your work won't be on the left when you're making your blocks. It will be over on the right side of your work. I'm just trying to uh, make it as easy as possible for you. So again, you chain up six every time. Here we are, we're chaining up six always here at the edge when we are starting our next row. One, two, three, four, five, six okay and I'm going to pause there now and we'll come back to that in a second okay so we're just going to continue now making our blocks okay we've three made already so I've chained up the six again and off we go again with the treble crochet into the fourth chain one two three four into the fourth and then into the last two okay and the part of the six turning chain um you're using three of those chains to act as your first treble so you'll see that you'll figure that out as well as as you work along that that six chain has a purpose um in the do in the corner to corner okay and you'll only ever chain six chain at the edge of your work that's the edge of our work here okay so if i put it down and i've crocheted it that's what it looked like, like when you lay it down but then when you start joining the blocks Okay, it creates the edge here for you. And joining the blocks is work into each block right down to the base. Okay, and when you're starting off, sometimes you can forget about the base block. You might just finish here and think, you know, that's it and you turn your work and on you go and before you know it, your blanket isn't keeping shape. So just try and remember that as well. So building the blocks, joining the blocks, always join into the base block. Use your tail as the guide i can't emphasize that enough that this little fella here is important when you're starting off um, and again now i have my block made i'm going to join and we'll join always in under here with our slip stitch like so we chain up three acts as one treble okay and we work in another three treble Okay, making that a total of four. The three chain is one and three more. Um, that creates
creates the block, okay? So your three chain, three treble creates the block each time, okay? There we have it. And again, join the block to the block below it. And that's another block made. So block or square, whatever you want to call it. That's my three chain. Just pulling out some of the thread there. And in I go. I'll do this one more time, okay? And then you can work away. And then I'll meet you and I'll show you how to close off the corner to corner then. Okay? So one second there now. So I've made, I've joined the base block, put down my work to see where I'm at. This is what it'll be looking like. We started here and we're just building. So you can see now that we've had, we started with one, we're on our third row um, and all you're going to do is repeat the process. So to repeat the process, we turn our work using our tail as our guide, which will always be at the edge. Okay, so if I lay that down, I'm just laying it down just to point out the blocks for you. But when you're working, always use it as your guide for your edge. Okay, off we go again. Chain six, always at this part. Okay, so take your work, chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's just repeating the process again. We create a new block at the edge here by working into the fourth chain from the hook. If you can't see the fourth chain, turn it around. So one, two, three, four. Okay. When it turn when that sixth chain turns, when I say the sixth chain turns, you've turned it to work a treble into the fourth chain from the hook. So it automatically turns three chains, which acts as a treble. And we have two treble, three treble, four treble. So the blocks will only ever have four treble. And it's all about just remembering what you do at the edge and then joining the blocks to each other. Just increasing and increasing and increasing. So again, if your work turns, okay, if you're right-handed as I am, your work will turn as you're crocheting, which is perfectly fine. But to keep yourself on track, always make sure this is at the edge okay that's your guide um, and i know i'm like a broken record on repeat on repeat but it really helps to remember that so here we are again and again joining the blocks we need to join this block then to this block and then to the base always remember the base block so off we go with our slip stitch i'm going to finish this for you now um, and then we can continue on until we get to a point of how do we close it off how do we create how do we go from this where we started which is this corner to having a straight edge to finish it over on this corner and I'll show you that so just finish this now first with our three chain into the same space okay that's not going to change and you work another block. Okay, we've made another block. Hopefully that's only four that I haven't gone beyond five. One, two, three, four. Yep. Made another block. We're joining the block to the one below it. In with our slip stitch. Chain up three. One, two, three. Put another three treble in here. One, one, and two and three and finally down to the base block so sometimes you might forget to make the block you just join it thinking you're finished um that you've finished it but you actually have to make a block at the base as well one two three our final block and off you go again so that's two, that's three, and one more is four. So this now is what it's looking like. Here we go. So we're just building the blocks. And then to continue, if you remember, we turn our work like so. We chain up six, create the block, 
and join, join, join down to the base and off you go again. So keep going with that um, and I'll meet you um, at this part here on how to close off your little square. Right, okay, so here we are now and I'm going to show you how to close off um, the corner to corner. So I'm going to stop here um, like so. Okay, and we are just going to hold it like so. And then to start closing off the uh, corner, okay, you will just work a single crochet into each one across first and that starts creating an edge like that's the top of it there now so if I show you that starts creating the edge so if I go to the bigger the bigger blanket I can work way across so you'll see that here now so it's an edging as we're trying to create okay and then you'll be working down the blocks each time you finish a row you'll create an edge on the next row both at the top and the bottom so I'll show you exactly now what I mean so decide where you want to finish and create a, a practice square for yourself now as well so in we go okay to the stitch so if I take it out this is the stitch on the hook I'm going into the next one and I'm closing it with a slip stitch okay that came out of my hook there so just go back in into the next one like so close it with a slip stitch so you can see already it's starting to close off your square even though this looks more like um, a rectangle okay and then make sure you go in under here as well with a slip stitch because you still have to make the blocks okay if I hold that down put that down like this this might be more of a challenge for you now but I think you're well up for it because you have practiced um, for the last couple of weeks with the treble crochet and various squares. So we're starting to close off our work, but we still have to get down here. And to get down here, we still need to make blocks. And you know how to make the blocks now. So we came in here with a slip stitch and we will chain up three, which will act as a treble. And in we go and do the exact same thing for the block. Three more treble. Okay, that's two. One more is three. Okay, and if I turn it down now and you can see. So all we've done to start closing off is we've stopped making the six chain up for each row and we're closing it off with a slip stitch. And then we're bringing it down with the blocks all the way down again to here. The next row you'll finish here, the next row you'll finish here, the next row you'll finish here, and finally it'll, you'll see it all coming together. So work down again with your slip stitch into your block below chain up your three, make your three more treble, two, okay, and that's your next block, and just keep going, okay, and I will meet you down here and show you what to do next. Okay, so now we need to join in here, okay, so this this is where we started closing off and then we worked down and we have to join it here to start creating. We want to bring our work straight like this so it meets over here. And to do that, just into the base block, each row you'll have a base block, um, you will just secure it with your slip stitch, like so. Okay? And now, again, you have to turn your work, so we're going to start working back up now to meet this row. Okay, we're going to back start working back up here. So all you're going to be doing from here on in is working up and back down and each time you'll see it closing in, okay? And to do that, you turn your work. Okay, I'm turning the work. Okay, so turn your work and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so we've joined it. Turn your work. We've joined it, sorry, and then you, you turn your work and again, this is always going to be your guiding. If you think you're going wrong, you need to stop and ask yourself, where's my tail? If you're, you know, if both, if you're right-handed or left-handed, your tail will be your guide for your edging. So if you're getting confused, always locate your edge with the tail where you started, because that's your first corner that you made, okay? And that's going to be your guide for everything. So you've turned your work, and now we need to start working back up here. 
and you're going to do the same thing okay all right so to get back up here you're going to okay so there's your tail again that's your guide you're going to slip stitch across this block to start closing it off so this is where we started if you have a look it's closing off we worked down we joined with a slip stitch we're turning it we're going to have to work back up here and we're going to start closing this off this edge off also with a slip stitch so this is how you finish the um, corner to corner so I'm in here so you can go in there with the slip stitch just slip stitch across to get over to this little space here okay so that's all you're going to do you know to start closing off your corner to corner you have to slip stitch across at the top and then also when you turn your work to come back up and again just pause rewind pause rewind and just follow it as your guide and practice in we go to that space draw through draw through okay and now chain up three one two three make a block and you're going to join all your blocks to here so I'll get you started and then I'll meet you here and I'll show you what to do next so again create your block join the blocks together and off you go and I know it's a lot to take in but there's there is no point um, showing you just how to start a corner to corner because you really need to know how to close it off as well especially when you're a beginner starting off or maybe you are advanced and you've never tackled a corner to corner before it's good to have both instructions at the same time because you can finish your work or your square your practice square then pretty quickly so i've made that block i have to join it here and that's all you're going to do so join the blocks and i'll meet you down at this end and i'll show you again how to start closing off and we'll be there before you know it we're done i've joined all those blocks from here and now we need to join this one and we join it again okay we're always joining it into that three chain that we've made that space with our slip stitch like so so it's starting to look like this and now again we'll need to turn our work okay and again let that be your guide so when you turn your work like so I hold it out there you go now we need to start closing this off and if you remember to close off our square eventually it'll come out over here and meet that point by working the slip stitch across at the top and a slip stitch at the base every time it starts closing itself in on each other to a point so work your way over now the top of that okay and in to the slip stitch so that closes another block you chain up three one two three you have to make a block in here because that'll help you bring the work down okay if you forgot to do that um, and you just joined it down into it you can see you'll see it pretty quickly anyway that you'll start losing the shape the straight line at the top and you know you've gone wrong um, so where am I just hold out your work so you know exactly where you are two that's one two three and one more four again join it like so we're nearly there okay so work away and um, i meet you here we'll turn our work and we'll work back up again okay we are joining the block to here with our slip stitch like so okay and we're not going to work anything into that because if you did you'll see it anyway if you hold it out these are our edges here okay so you can't work anything into that otherwise you're just in, you'll see it you're going to increase so you just close it with a slip stitch and again you need to work across that because we've turned our work here's my little tail again as my guide now you'll slip stitch across here and you're nearly there then so do a practice square first I just think a small little one first starting off maybe um, six to eight rows is perfect we'd say um, 
of blocks. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. You'll have six by five um, for this one. So I've worked across my, with my slip stitch across the top of that. I've come over here again and we're going to, we've only one more block to do, so we might as well keep going. So three chain, in I go with my treble. Okay, creating my last block, like so. And now I need to join it in here, like so. So if I push it down, like that it'll look like this and then just to secure so imagine if you kept going and kept going and you'd have a version like this like this um, is a good I suppose three feet um, and I'm still having to close out the edges um, on this one you can see that I've this is the edge and I still have all of these blocks to complete so you can just keep going for as big as you want but I would encourage you to do a practice square. So this is where I've joined it into the last block and then I'm just going to turn it. And every time you turn, your tail is your guide. I cannot, cannot emphasize that enough. Um, and then you're gonna work your slip stitch across like so. Sorry, the dog is making noise in the background. Slip stitch across, mm -hmm. slip stitch across and final slip stitch in here like so. Draw up your loop as we always do. Um, okay, and there's my scissors. And that's your corner to corner stitch tutorial. I know there's an awful lot of information um, in that, but it really is very simple once you master the hang of it. And to get the hang of it, you really need to just practice, practice. But I guarantee you, once you master it, you will probably just keep making as many corner to corner blankets as you possibly can. I think any of us who love crochet and figured out the stitch first day, that's all we did for a very long time was corner to corner. Um, so no matter what way you turn it, uh, it can look very pretty. So that's our stitch tutorial for this week for the Lantern Project. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Give it a go and share your work with the Lantern page. We'd love to see how you're getting on and what you're making as we're all waiting patiently to be together again in the Lantern Garden, hopefully in the coming weeks. So have a good week, everybody, and we'll connect in again next week.